Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and I thought I'd make a very quick video around Bitcoin Cash, which as we can see has gone up 7,200% since it was created. Now, I'm calling it Bitcoin's baby because basically what I did is, so as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Litecoin. I actually hold my Litecoin in a cold wallet off the internet just for added security, um, where I use Bittrex basically just to play around with some of the other smaller tokens and you know I wanted to see get a little bit of Ethereum um, a tiny tiny amount but what I did is I can actually show you here my deposit history I decided to move quite a substantial amount of Bitcoin okay I don't know if 0.42 is a lot for you or if that's just tiny but for me it's, it's quite a bit so we moved it in quite recently and, and the whole idea of why I moved out of my Litecoin into Bitcoin um, was that I wanted to take advantage of the Bitcoin hard fork and what happened with the Bitcoin hard fork is that Bitcoin split into two so you still got your normal Bitcoin and Bitcoin basically created a little baby called Bitcoin Cash which is going to have the entire same transaction history and the idea was that anybody who was holding Bitcoin would get the same amount of Bitcoin Cash you can see I've got 0.45 Bitcoin and they've given me 0.45 Bitcoin cash. What was interesting about this and why I had to use Bittrex was because the, the local exchange which I use which is Luno, um, I like Luno in the sense that I use a little bit of the depth thing to see if, if it's a buy or sell. Um, not the best indicator but it is a slight indicator. The green chunk is bigger it means there's more people wanting to buy than the red chunk so that's a potential uh, move for the price to increase but like I say it's not perfect because not everybody has put in their orders there is a lot of money that you know they wait to see the price changes and then they only implement their orders so this isn't the perfect way to um, you know see the market but it is it is a nice indicator to get just a little bit of the feeling like we saw last week um, when Bitcoin was crashing a bit, this red area was much bigger than the green area. So Bitcoin's in a bit of a healthy state. I'll say that very, very loosely. Like I said, this isn't that that um, valuable information. Like it does leave a lot out, but it does give you a small indication. But why I, I had to move the Bitcoins out of this exchange, because Luno, as well as all the other, well, a lot of the other exchanges, weren't going to give you Bitcoin cash. They weren't going to give you the baby. They said that if you had any Bitcoins with them, they weren't going to give you the Bitcoin cash. Um, and the reason for that is they didn't think it had any value or there were some political reasons. But essentially, they now control a bunch of Bitcoin cash, which is substantial when, I mean, if you come here to Bitcoin cash, we can see that it's, you know, the Bitcoin value it, it's, it's worth actually a fair amount. I think that's, that works out at like around, well here, can we go to the Bitcoin Cash market? And we can see, yeah, check, it is, it is 20, 22%. 22% that you just, this value just got created overnight. That's why I don't want to call it a dividend because a dividend is like the sharing of profits. Um, but it's kind of like a dividend. It's kind of like Bitcoin paid out a dividend from, if you look at it purely from a financial cash flow point of view. Um, but this is quite interesting, is that Bitcoin Cash has been created and it's managed to take 22% of the value of Bitcoin and hold it. And Bitcoin's price has not decreased. This is, this is the big tricky thing. I mean, if we go to the, the chart of how Bitcoin's been doing, um, let's go, say, the last three days, um, we can see the price has increased. Whereas if it, if it was, say, a rights issue or a share split, which is one way of seeing it, then Bitcoin's value should have decreased as they would have been transferred to Bitcoin Cash. But seeing that it's split and it retained its value and you're just getting this extra value on the side, it very much resembles that of a dividend. But what's concerning to me is that all of these exchanges have now got 20% or 22% more Bitcoin that they're not sharing with their users. Now, they did send out an email saying that they weren't going to do this. They did warn us, and that is why I took my money out of Luno and I put it rather into Bittrex. And, um, well, I mean, if we go back to, to my wallet, I didn't really have that much in my Luno account. 
I think, yeah, so that, that's what I moved from Luno, uh, which was a tiny, tiny amount. Um, and then I was like, well, let's take advantage of this Bitcoin cash. I moved some of my Litecoin here. But essentially, if I had left that in the Luno account, I would have lost my Bitcoin baby. And, oh gosh, check it, it's increasing. As we're chatting, as we're chatting right now, this, this price is increasing uh, ever so more. How high is it going to go? I don't know. I don't know. It, it could crash tomorrow. The, the baby, you know, babies have a low life expectancy, uh, for those of you who, who know actuarial science. So the baby could, could go away. But, but at the moment, the baby's growing. The baby's growing. It might turn into a little bit of a toddler. And who knows, it might even challenge Bitcoin. Oh, I, I, no, sorry. I should not say that. Bitcoin Cash, it's weird. When I was looking at it on the internet, a lot of people hate it. It's like the unloved baby. Everybody hates this thing. There was a lot of Reddit people saying, oh, I'm going to sell it as soon as I get it. Oh. But it turns out that the price is, is increasing. And it's quite an exciting time. But I just thought it was, yeah, I just wanted to share you, share or catch you guys up with what's happened around this Bitcoin hard fork and what the result has been is that we've now have, we now have two Bitcoins. We now have two Bitcoins. Bitcoin's got a little child and it's doing pretty well. It's quite healthy. I know you guys have been asking me to check out Ripple and a few other currencies. Um, I will be doing my research and hopefully pushing out some videos around that as well. But I thought I'd just give you a quick little update on, on Bitcoin's baby. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. And as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to include them in the comment section below. Cheers.